Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Europe Universalist 3. Uh, this should be the last session of Europe Universalist 3. Uh, and then we'll be moving on to Victoria. We are at the end of 1813. Um, things we need to do. What are the Ottomans doing? I don't know what the Ottomans are doing. Um, the Ottomans are... I'm not at war with them. I don't know what they're doing. Walking through my shit. Whatever. Uh, things we got going on. Um, we don't have a whole lot going on right now. Um, there's a revolt going on here. There's revolts going on here, and the Papal States are losing to Austria, but they might actually not end the war before the changeover because of the widespread area of the Papal States, and they probably won't be willing to give this up to Austria for that. Anyway, um, before I get started running the game, let's, uh, take a look a bit at the world situation. Um, Portugal's being a lot like England, and they have a lot of weird, um, places that are really in weird strategic locations for them, like this and this. Um, so, uh, but, you know, uh, stuff like this is fine. Um, it's pretty much what we do. But I might, I might want to fix some of the stuff, like, uh, these, this thing has been held by rebels for, like, probably 60 or 70 years, so... I don't, if, if Portugal doesn't take this back by the end of the game, I'm going to give it to uh, Quebec or Aberon or whatever. I don't know. Uh, they, if, if they haven't captured it back by the end of the game, they don't deserve to have it. Uh, so I'm going to give it to someone else since they obviously can't maintain it. Anything else has been held by uh, rebels for a long period of time. Like, remember Corsica was like held by rebels forever. It was just dumb. Um, other than that, a lot of the weirdness is I actually, like, encourage. I like it. Uh, <laughs> Gotland surviving the entire game as a republic. That's pretty cool. We were bros with them for a long time. Uh, this, that's fine. Um, you know, whatever. It's, it's part of the di dynamicism of the game that it's, you have all kinds of shit spread out everywhere. So, um, yeah. Um, but the... Kind of problematic blobbing is what I'm talking about. Like, it's fine that Austria has, like, this, 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 you know, all that stuff. Who cares? I mean, you know, that's what Austria did. Um, this might be a little weird, but, um, you know, that, that could change in seven years. But, uh, I'm not expecting a whole lot to change in the world, but, uh, you know, anything could happen. Um... These guys are not in our sphere of influence anymore. I could easily take it, uh, and there's nothing really preventing me from doing so. Because I've got an honorable reputation, uh, you know, 17,000 troops, one province away, or two provinces away from them, and uh, a navy nearby. I don't remember where my navy is. But it's close by, and, you know, there's literally nothing going to stop me. But, uh, I don't really feel like doing it, because it would just cause me problems. More problems than I want to have, uh, right now. And, um, it's a good province. A very good province. But, uh, yeah, I don't think, uh, I think it's worth it at this point. And it makes the game more interesting. Come Victoria. Um, Russia has actually gotten Malacca. Uh, which I wanted again, but that's fine, too. Um. And it looks like Foy is taking their out the rest of Asa. So, uh, yeah, it's a little colonialism going on. It's pretty cool. We're not going to be the only fish in the pond, so to speak, on this side of the world anymore. Which is cool. I mean, Portugal's got some weird stuff already, but, you know, whatever. But, for the most part, uh, we've got our, um, um, our bunch of our African stuff decided. As I said, I'm probably going to revert this back to like a small strip of land along the African coast to more accurately reflect how we're supposed to be in Victoria, rather than how um, the converter tends to make it like this, exactly 
you know, pound for pound province, uh, province for province conversion, which is not entirely realistic, realistic based on the way the game works in Victoria 2, in that, uh, well, it is more realistic in that we actually are based in Africa, so we actually have more of a chance of get, getting stuff done here, and we're more used to the conditions, but um, it makes us stronger than we should be, so I'm not going to. Um, this, for example, is quite a bit more of inner Africa than we should have. And the same thing is true for everyone. Like, this, uh, pretty much all of Africa is uncolonizable at the beginning, so uh, I want to make that as much as possible like a normal Victoria experience so that I'm not having too much of an easy time with the game. Um, other short-term goals that I can get done in seven years, well, you can't really do any kind of, like I don't think I have enough time to change my, I uh, don't have enough time to change my national focus again. I don't have enough time to do any uh, settlement policies, although you can get lucky and get them to pop really quickly. I'm not, it's unlikely that that will happen. Plus, uh, I can't move my national focus. My national focus is now in Africa, I believe. So, there's no real use in doing that. I could do one here, but uh, that's not really useful. Um, let me go trade thingy here. But, the main thing is maintaining our empire, and with no revolt risk whatsoever, uh, being ineligible for a revolution. The revolution that have already started and died out in two places, one place that's not probably not supposed to have been. Oh, war with Austria? No. Oh, right here, okay. Um why are you marching there? No, stop. Um Yeah, just keeping everything uh, together is probably not gonna be too difficult. So basically what we're going to be doing is watching what happens with our allies and our enemies and our people we don't give a shit about. Like, <laughs> like Connacht over here. Um, there is, at least at the moment I was messing with it last, there is a, a mod that you can get to go with the heir to the throne to um, Victoria 2 converter that will do a literal translation of the province to province, culture to culture thing, as long as you do the same, do the mappings right. Um, but I'm going to tweak that a little bit uh, for purposes of making the game either more interesting, more difficult, or just because I think it would more, it would make for a more dynamic story in the long run for our game. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to cheat myself a bunch of provinces. I have said a lot of times that I would rather cheat myself back than cheat myself forward. Because, you know, that's that goes against what I'm trying to do here. Um, but, uh, yeah. And I have several things I was thinking about doing. Um, I mean, it occurs to me that I probably should just keep running the game. Um... I was thinking, and I, I like the idea of renaming this Constantinople. So, it has been Constantinople the whole game. I don't know what people are talking about. Um, the name has never changed to Istanbul, because uh, the Ottomans never had it. So, um, it's been Constantinople the whole game. Okay, still Holstein. Okay, whatever. Whatever, we're not going to attack Russia. Constantinople, very funny. Uh, but, um... We, I don't know, Byzantium seemed like a burden at the time that it was uh, there. But, uh, yeah, we do have a a presence. The only reason Kerns don't rule here is because we decided we didn't want their country. Which was just a power thing. Like, um, if that had happened uh, earlier in the game, I would have been cool with it. But, um... Or if I had decided that I hated the Byzantines and wanted to invade them, then I, that, that would have been cool. Um, but at, the, at that point, at the point in the game, it happened, and I had been worried about it for a long time. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm thinking about, uh, and this kind of flies in the face of my original intention. Instead of playing as the Celtic Union or the Breton Empire or whatever I decided to convert it as, we could choose to play as one of my, our successor states. Um, to make things a bit harder, if, if people feel that it would be too easy to play as the Celtic Union, 
we could instead play as, uh, like, um, America or Canada, for example. Or even Louisiana. That would work, too. Um, the United States of Central America, which is what this translates to in Victoria, I don't think really counts. Because most of this was... Well, a significant portion of this was mine, like this, but uh, not enough of it for me to really decide that, that that's a, a successor state, a state I should say. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, one of these uh, is good enough to be a great power, and in fact they might be like 3, 5, and 7 on the, on the thing when you convert it. Um, actually... Uh, because of the way the conversion for um, the conversion for uh, prestige goes at the very very beginning of the game and because of the way the AI handles it and because there weren't any factories Byzantium is actually number one uh, in Victoria 2 which it actually makes sense if you think about it because of how much stuff they actually hold and how much prestige they have they are, yeah, they're number four in prestige and because they have a good uh, industrial uh, ability, and they are in the Western group and all that stuff. No, they're not Western, they're in the Eastern group. But they are well within the um, European uh, standings as far as tech goes. They're probably even past a lot of these, these other guys. Uh, it's not unreasonable that they would be number one, even with uh, factories and stuff factored in. Uh, because... As far as I know, at the beginning of the game, uh, Africa doesn't have any factories, so we would basically have no factories here and a bunch of factories up here. Um, because we are going to start in His Majesty's government, because um, our, our king is a male or female king, yeah. Although Elizabeth might come to us as her, His Majesty's government, whatever. Same acronym. Um, we will not be able to build factories ourselves unless we get the... Um, Reactionists in power, unless I tweak the um, governments, but I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna be all cheesy about it. Make it make me make me have Sweden's government, for example, which is really good on uh, state capitalism. So um, yeah, uh, I don't think people are gonna favor that. I just kind of want to throw it out as an option, and I think it kind of goes against the um, the kind of idea of the let's play. But it was an idea. I thought of, I thought of this a while ago when uh, I basically ran the converter the first time and saw just how ridiculously powerful I was and how it, possible it would be for anyone to beat me. Uh, actually, starting with no factories makes it significantly harder for me, so um, that's not necessarily necessary at this point anymore. Um, but uh, as the converters get better, um, it's going to be more. I want it to be as much of a Victoria experience as possible, and I, so I'd rather have the factories there to make it easier, I suppose, to make it more like Let's Play Victoria than Let's Play a game that kind of resembles Victoria that I broke at the beginning and was never going to be fixed again. Which would be a really bad acronym, and somebody should not make that game. Anyway, I don't want to make that game. Uh, we didn't have a revolution, so that kind of interesting dynamic is gone. Although France just really doesn't act uh, any different because of it. So, but, you know, France is just really strong in, to begin with anyway. We're going to start the game with a quarter of it, so um, it's not going to be... Uh, it's not going to be irrelevant for us how France acts. Um, so... As far as conversion to actual states, I can set the conversion to make things other things. Like, um, this for example, it, there's no reason for it to convert as Connacht, it should just convert as Iceland. Um, just like there's no reason for this to be, you know, uh, in Crusader Kings, um, Ulster is Tyrone at the beginning. Which I guess is a historical thing, but it's the place is Ulster, whatever. Um, Things that are really out of place, I'm just going to rename uh, Iceland for here example. Because there was no real French connection to this, this is going to be Newfoundland instead of Quebec. Um, I've 
I'm okay with there being two Americas, but they're like allied and shit right now, so. Uh, and it would be more of a, a, a an opponent building process. I, I definitely will be putting in a thing uh, where one or the other um, inherits the other because that's the kind of thing that would happen. I mean, they're basically parents, they're basically sister states born from the same parent. Uh, and it's Louisiana because it's Louisiana Purchase, obviously. So it's it sets up an interesting dynamic that would be very realistic for them to join as a country, uh, but they'll probably end up starting the game as a sing a, as separate entities. Um, the ones that are set that are colonies like this this is fine. Um, it's cool because Britain starts with the colonies. That's fine. Um, this I'm a little iffy about. There's no way Portugal can actually support this, and they've basically been at war with Portugal a bunch of times try to take this from them and they just kind of failed because Portugal is like a dick and doesn't want to give up anything um oh look if I stuck it back cool um Lithuanian um so yeah let's start the game again um but as far as I'm concerned uh, I we will be playing as the Celtic Union, um, or there it goes. Uh, yeah, uh, the AI is not good at keeping the revolution going uh, because if you end with if you get po positive um, stability and no uh, revolts, then uh, it ends. So. We'll just see how, see how Canada does. Um, I like the way things have turned out in a lot of places. Like, there's a strong uh, Bihar here for our uh, an enemy for us for India. Uh, Polotsk is basically intact for a Persia-like uh, country. Um, the Ottomans are kind of weirdly stretched out, and I think a lot of their yeah a lot of their stuff has been taken by China. But they still own uh, a bit, and Palatska's all the way over here, too. And actually, they're capturing some stuff from Manchu. So, the Ottomans are still here, and they're still kicking. They're just <laughs> kind of in Central Asia a little bit. Um, and they're still over here on the, on the uh, Caspian. Um, Russia's doing well, though they still haven't killed some of their weird people. Oh, they, oh, I think this popped up. These two things popped up because of the their horrible instability a few years ago. I don't know what was up with that. Um, but yeah, the Eastern Europe will be significantly different, and again, all of Europe will be significantly different, with Bohemia, instead of Prussia, as the main, um, North German protagonist, I guess. I got protagonist isn't really the word, and North German isn't really the word either, because, you know, most of that's owned by Sweden. Austria's pretty much the same, France, Provence is basically France right now, even though France has two provinces. Here and here. Um, Byzantium is basically the Ottoman Empire and the two Sicilies at this point. Um, although, looks like they're losing that to revolters again. As you can see, I'm having a bit of trouble maintaining my monopolies. But that's fine, it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, there they go. I killed them. Um, Alright, uh, basically, uh, I just wanted to get it out there that, uh, there's a few things, uh, I'm keeping in mind for, uh, Victoria. Um, and, basically that I wanted to... Well, I'll get into that later when we're done. But I'm going to cut it here because nothing really interesting is happening. And I'll be back when something does. Ah. <laughs> well, it's been a long time coming. I think they got this, like, really soon after we did. And, uh, yeah, it's because they're down to two provinces. Whatever. Well, it looks like somebody finished our job with, uh, Foy here. 
don't know who, but uh, they released Provan, so... Uh, Provence did, okay, so... That's cool, I suppose. So I noticed that uh, we lost the Liberation Causes Ballet against Inca. That's because everyone, like, uh, took their provinces that were the... What are they called, um... Chimu, right. So, that's unfortunate for them, I suppose. But, uh, interesting nonetheless. Well, I think this is enough of a reason. Uh, we haven't, we haven't really, uh, been buddies to Inca since I broke their, their alliance, but I'd like them to be there, because, uh, I feel like I've been fostering the, the ability of the new world to work itself out, I suppose. So, um, yeah, um... I think I'm going to go to war uh, to protect them. So, and it'll give us a nice little thing to go out on. Maybe get us some, get us, get us some prestige. And we got a decent army around here. Uh, so, let's go for it. Uh, and uh, we have a huge army over here, which we could just crush them with. So, uh, yeah, let's go for liberation. I have to cancel my military access first. And then I need to... It's only 10,000. I have more ship troops on my ships. There we go. How many guys can I go? 33 regiments. 10... Okay, that'll, that's good enough. I'll just show the preparations here. Let's go wait. Mexico. Let's look at the courier real quick. Mexico's got a lot of cardinals, actually. More than we do. Um, no, same amount as we do. And the papal state. Holding, holding themselves. Algiers. Weird. Uh, yeah. Pretty interesting. But, you know, then again, Catholicism didn't do well in the old world. I'm surprised, like, uh, Austria. Is Austria Catholic? I thought they were Catholic. Yeah, Austria doesn't have any. Weird. Alright, so let's get things together for this. Um, won't be in time to save the Inca, obviously, but uh, that might actually be better because. Um, It means we can make them release them all at once. But most important thing is going to be over here. And uh, yeah, let's actually trade places here. And get as much as I can down. Who are they allied with? Mexico, Bohemia, Andalusia, and Navarra. Um. I don't think Bohemia will cause me any problems, being entirely non-coastal. They can't really get ships to me. And Byzantium will probably take care of them up here. And Russia. Uh, Mexico... I don't know if Mexico managed to beat, manages to beat this army. More power to them. Uh, but I'll just basically try to get people out of the war as soon as I can. Um... Although I will have to, like, actually kind of come over here and take territories. We'll see. Alright, so... We'll our way over here. Cyprus. Um... It kind of disappoints me that I didn't get more of the Mediterranean islands. I, in fact, I only have one. And I kind of said that was going to be one of my goals. I even, before I got, before Sicily became one of my major allies in uh, Crusader Kings, I actually had designs on it, but, um, and that didn't happen. But, uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to get, uh, you know, the Bel Aires and stuff. Whoa. Malta. Malta's doing good. And, yeah, war's over here. Uh, it don't, doesn't look like they got anything out of it. 
maybe a release somewhere. Over here. Nope. Nothing. Um, I don't know what the cost of belly on that was. And probably should have checked, but I didn't. Let's do this a bit systematically. Um, let's go over. How many ships do they have here? Like six. What the hell? Uh, well, I can't split them, so I'll have to like bring them over. Nah, let's just let's just take care of things. Um. Whoa. Canadian particularists. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna do anything up here. Hopefully my islands can hold out. Okay. So everything's in place now. Okay. Declare war. Da -da. Okay, so Bohemia didn't join. Oh no, they did. Okay. Um, Andalusia. Oh, and I'm actually at war with Navarra. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see how badly this ends for us. I was not expecting that. Well, actually, I did because I looked at it and I was like, hey. We should come out on top of this easily. Yeah, see, minorities are doing good. Forty thousand dudes, smoosh. Liberation against the Netherlands. Dude, cool. I guess this will have to end. This will have to be our, our revolution, I suppose. One of the. Take your mans. What is Andalusia? You a busta. Lamb. Oh, look, what happened? Oh, where's all your friends? Taking it. That's what. You can stand here to guard this, I suppose. No, let's go over here. Leader, go to Gascon. Okay, let's see how much we got it out of this war already. Fourteen percent. We could actually look, get them to re release a lot of guys. Ooh. Oh, Bourbon A. Nope. Could we get 
anybody out of this war? Nope. Okay, what about you? Huh. Well, this isn't gonna end well for you, I don't think. Oh, maybe it will. Maybe it will. Um, no. <laughs> Russia's doomstack. There it is, right there. Okay. Uh, so we're done over here. You go back to Breton land. Actually, no. Huh. Let's go get Bohemia. You can go back to your homeland. And... I didn't even get out to get over to the Americas yet. That's cool. What else? Nobody's coming up here. That would be stupid. Um, hmm. We have a lot of ships over here. Oh. Right. Five. Probably, probably enough, but I don't want to risk it. Okay, where's our ships? They're coming. What do you want? No. You, Bohemia. Still having this this error with the graphics too. Hmm. Well, looks like that might be pretty bad. Some more infantry down here. Some more dudes. Infantry. Okay. Huh. Well, I could. This war could be over really soon. If I wanted it to be. You can't do any harm. Shumash. Uh. Kill. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want them to get any war score on me. 